Good morning, students, faculty, and staff. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. February the 8th. February the 8th. St. Paul tells us in the reading today that we are given gifts from the Holy Spirit. Today we remember St. Josephine Bakita, who was kidnapped from Sudan and Africa into slavery. She suffered in captivity and eventually became a nun and a saint. Say face the crucifix. Face the crucifix. And let us say. And let us say. In the name the of the Father, Father Son, Son, and Holy and Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. The Lord is my okay. The Lord is my shepherd. The, the, the Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want. He makes me lie down. He makes me lie down. In green pastures. In green pastures. He leads me beside. He leads me beside. Still waters. Still waters. He restores my soul. He restores my soul. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. A reading from the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. There are varieties of gifts, but the same spirit. There are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the spirit for the common good. To one is given through the spirit wisdom, to another knowledge, another faith, to another gifts of healing, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another the discernment of spirits. All of these gifts are activated by one and the same spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. You know, God is very smart. He doesn't give all of the gifts to just one person. What he does is he spreads them out. And each person has a specialty. And people have to learn to work as a team. A team can be very powerful. They can do many things together that individuals will find hard to do alone. So let us thank God for giving us all these gifts. Look at them in the school. We all have different gifts and we work together as a team. God fixed it so we can depend on one another. Let us pray now as God taught us. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now you get and let us pray. In your wisdom, O God, you have given us various gifts. May we honor you by using our talents and strengths to serve you and one another. Through Christ our Lord. And may St. Josephine Bakita pray for us today. She suffered so much, but she never gave up on being a Christian. May she pray with us and ask for God's blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Shyla's facing the flag, and she will lead us in the pledge. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 
And now the Annunciation Catholic School Mission Statement. Annunciation Catholic School prepares students of all faiths for the challenges of an ever-changing world by providing opportunities for academic excellence, character development, and humble service in a Catholic Christ-centered environment. Next week, we will begin to be fed with all the spiritual gifts of the Lenten season. We'll be talking about the way of the cross and the sorrowful mysteries today as we prepared, prepare to go into the Easter season. And that's our spiritual thing. However, on the other hand, there's a lot of good real food for the body here. Look what we're going to have today. Fried chicken tenders. Do you like those? And it's such cold weather getting to be outside. I'm going to enjoy the baked beans. Say mandarin oranges. Mandarin oranges. And good fresh milk. And good fresh milk. Say, and now here's the principle. Now here's the principle. Okay, so we're going to give this another try this morning. Hopefully we can all go back and uh, listen to the beautiful reading that, that um, Mr. V and Shyla read for us this morning. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. Um, if you're not seeing it, then I guess we're going to be on a delay, but you can still watch it. So I want to wish everybody a wonderful, good Monday morning. We are back. And guys, we have this week and then we have two days off next week two days off. We are so excited. But when we come back, Mr. Valenny just mentioned it will be Lent. So we will be entering into a new liturgical season in the church. And as a result, some things will change because of the the um, the nature of Lent and what it prepares us for. So we are looking forward to that. Um, we are looking forward to a wonderful week with not a lot of interruptions, hopefully, this week. Hopefully, it should be a normal week. Uh, Miss Joanne is coming out of her room. It's still not working. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, we'll be on a delay, but hopefully, everybody will be able to watch it. Um, so, Shyla, are you ready to do some work this morning? Of course she is. Of course she is. Okay. So, we're going to start off with our beautiful, fabulous, wonderful, amazing papers. You're going to help me out. I'm going to hand it to you and you put it face down for me. Okay. So we're going to start off with Mr. Adam, Adam Little. This was fantastic. And Miss Lindsay came to show me that Adam figured out the directions for the paper, which are a little complicated without even having to be told what they were. He just knew in his head what to do. Pretty amazing, Adam. Great job. So good job for Adam. Put it face down like this. Next, we have Alexis and her beautiful pink coloring. Alexis, this is gorgeous. And I love your pineapple sticker that Miss Lori put on your paper. That is excellent. Fabulous job, Alexis. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have handed it to you. And now we are moving on to the third grade. Third grade had a, an English test, and they did really great on it. This is wonderful work, third grade. So first we have Landon's paper. Landon, you did great. Congratulations. And Mr. James, good job, James. And Gabriel. And Michael, great job, Michael. And Miss Olivia with her A++ paper. Fantastic. I love it. Great job, third grade. I love an English test. Now, here is where I got confused. At first, I could not find the name on this paper, but I want everybody to look at this flip book. Look at that. It is um, a simple current created by sixth grade. Look at this. This is fantastic. I have no idea what it means. So maybe you guys could teach me. But I know that this battery is connected to this light. And there's some red and some blue. So this is Ella's beautiful work. We know how talented Ella is at drawing. But this looks fantastic. So Ella Stevens, congratulations. This is wonderful, isn't it? Yes. Okay, now we're moving on to our super seventh grade. And we have several papers from them. The first one is Janiah's from uh, American History. Great job, Janiah. 
And next, Owen, an American history paper for Owen. And then the last two papers are from the Devil's Arithmetic um, uh, quiz, which makes me so happy. I love this book. Um, and that is Wyatt and Ava. So Wyatt had a paper, and then Ava and her sister both had papers this week. So these are really great. Uh, good job, boys and girls. And I hope to see lots of beautiful papers on our amazing board this week. We have new student registration this week, so hopefully we will have uh, some traffic in here to um, sign all the kids up, all the kids up for next year. And boys and girls, we have, um, we have a plan of giving people who are interested in our school a welcome basket. And one of the things that's going to be in the basket is um, one of our spirit shirts. And some of you may be asked to actually sign the back of the spirit shirt to be able to give to the um, to the new student as we invite them to join our school. So not everybody will do that. It's just uh, depends on uh, the age of the person who wants to come to our school. So if we ask you to do that, it's to give to somebody to welcome them and to ask them if they want to come to our school. So that will be a good thing. So hopefully we'll have um, – We'll have Mr. Derek help me out with that, and Miss Sierra's been helping me out as well. Um, I want to do a couple of staff shout-outs this morning. Um, she isn't here yet, but I want to do a huge shout-out to Coach Ann for all of her hard work on the king cakes. Um, she did all the legwork on that, and um, it was a very – successful endeavor because of her and so um, I hate she's not here to hear it but I really want to uh, um, tell her how much I appreciate that on her part. Um, also to Miss Sierra. Miss Sierra worked really hard and the student council worked really hard last week on penny wars and for the sweet treats and I just want those two teachers to know how much I appreciate all that extra time that they gave to help our school. Um, I'm going to do this. They were making it great. I'm so cool. I'm so cool making it rain. Okay. Anyway, so thank you for that. And I also want to give a shout out to Miss Bridget and Miss Lindsay out in pre-K who spent a lot of time here um, yesterday um, doing some, some things out in pre-K. And I think pre-K is going to have a little bit of a good day today. They have some things going on out there that is different. And it's always fun to do things that are different, right? And of course, all of our teachers work so very hard. And so we appreciate all of their work as well. But those were just some some shout outs for um, last week that I really appreciate. I want to make sure I noted. OK, so we do have one birthday this week. Miss Terry is Levi Shoemaker here. Yes. Yes, he's here. Levi has a birthday this week. Levi. Happy birthday. And we also had two little ladies who were not here last week. Let me make sure it was Brooklyn Stevens and Tanu. They were not here last week. And so they were not able to um, join in the birthday celebration. So they have to come get their birthday balloons. And I wondered if they would like to join us to dance. Would y'all like to dance Tanu and Brooklyn? Yeah, I know Brooklyn. Come on, Brooklyn. Come on. Oh, there they come. All right. And I will have you to know I have the song ready to go. I just have to rewind it a little bit. Oh, no, I don't usually do that. But okay. So I got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. He beat me. Okay. Y'all ready to do a little dancing? day on your birthday. Levi's birthday, I believe, is Saturday. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. You can grab that on your way out. Girly girls, there you go. 
Okay, they're a little quiet here this morning. All right, so we do have some sticks in our bucket. I'd like to do some sticks. I'd like to give some people some brownies. You're welcome. Love those manners, Brooklyn. Look, we got a whole basket full of brownies. And every week, I always ask Miss Terry, why didn't they come get their brownie? Boys and girls, everybody whose name I call for a brownie has permission to come at recess or earlier to get their brownie. Come get it. Don't forget. Don't forget because you know what happens when you forget it? And I shouldn't be eating it. Okay, I just passed by. There's no way I can pass it by. So you need to make sure you come and get it. Shala, are you ready to pull some sticks? Okay, so I'm going to swirl these babies around. This is your big moment, Shala. Ooh, all the greens are sticking together. All right, you ready? Bella. In sixth grade. Bella in sixth grade. Adam Little in pre K. Okay. She got Addie Pack. She can read Addie's name because she's that's in her class. Go put your hand all the way in there. Dig around a little bit. There you go. Addie in pre-K. Addie, great. Two pre-Ks. There's a blue stick. Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Riley Mitchell. Riley Mitchell. Another pre-K. Tatum. Tatum, our new student. <gasps> no way. Oh, no, no, that's not. I thought it was somebody different. It's Evelyn. Evelyn in pre-K. So, my goodness, that's four pre-K. Let's try to pick um, a different color stick, not green. Nope, that's a green. Let's try to get a different stick. And she picked a green. Oh, she put it back. All right, there's one. Go ahead. That's the one I thought it was a minute ago. Scarlet. Scarlet. Scarlet and her sister. They both got picked. So we have two, four, six, eight, nine. One more. One more. Another pre -game. Landry. Landry Barber. So, oh my goodness, the pre-Ks are going to have lots of energy today. Yay. All right. So, thank you. Great job, child. I'm going to put them all back in. Second and third grade, since y'all can hear me, can y'all please do a um, drum roll? If anybody can hear me, do a drum roll. Reach in there, child. Roll them around. Okay, show them the color of the stick. Show them the color. It's purple. It's purple. Okay, so Shala. It's not a boy. Not a boy. So boys, you can sit down if you can hear us. Um, let's see. She has a little sister. And he has a big sister. So she's got a little sister and a big sister. What? <laughs> I was going to Pope John. Pope John. He has a little brother. It's Kate. 
It's Kate Beyond. All of those clues. Great job, Shala. All of those clues. Congratulations, Kate. What a wonderful, wonderful um, student of the week you will be. That is wonderful. Yay, Kate. That's. Are you so excited? That's her excited. Okay, so I want to talk about our um, idiom of the day. I love this idiom of the day. People are always telling me this. So I thought I would use this for the idiom of the day. And it says, hang in there. Have you ever heard somebody say hang in there before? Come on, really? So let's say you're struggling with something or you're stressed or you feel pressured or you feel as though you're losing control. And if someone says to you, hang in there, they don't really want you to hang. They want you to not give up. Keep with it. So sometimes, boys and girls, if we're studying something at school that is difficult or that we don't understand, um, you, can, you can't quit. You can't give up. you got to hang in there, which means that a lot of times, you know, you just kind of go over a hump. In life, you have to hang in there because God never leaves us. He never abandons us. So you just have to put your faith in him, hang in there, and things will get better. Um, they always do. So this is a really good one. I'm going to try to remember that this week because I'm looking forward to a very quiet week. It's going to be a quiet week. Okay. I do have a beautiful joke for today. Let me show you my wonderful, wonderful gift from Miss Lauren. I know that you guys are going to be so excited. We want to welcome Miss Lauren back. She's been vacationing, but now she's back. So we're glad for her to be back. And it says, crack yourself up jokes for kids. And I can tell it's going to be a good book because the first joke I read, I loved. Can't wait to read it. Are you ready? Okay. This is a good one. Okay. What musical instrument is found in the bathroom? A tuba toothpaste. A tuba toothpaste. That's great. Thank you so much, Ms. Lauren. I love this book. We'll put it right here, and it's just going to start our day off in a happy way. Boys and girls, in case no one has told you this morning, I love you so much. I'm so glad you're here. I'm here for you whatever you need. Thank you so much for being who you are. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be in the Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.